Hey bros, welcome again to the channel of Physics Colony. Let's continue with our special theory of relativity topic. And last time we discussed about time dilation and the basics, that is the postulates. And now let's get down to the length contraction as you can read. Now I'll read it for you. What is length contraction in the theory of relativity, that is the length of an object traveling close to speed of light appears damn contracted to a person actually in rest. That is, if there is anything with a specific length in its rest state, then if it travels very close to speed of light, its length becomes small and small. That's nothing but the length contraction, the next part of the theory of relativity. And now, as usual, let's take an example. Now, let us take the first scenario where this is the land and a person in the land is at rest, is at total rest. And what he sees is rod traveling at zero mass, that is, it's simply floating in the air, having length, uh, let it be 20 meters. So the rod of 20 meters with zero velocity he is observing. He is observing the rod of actually actually floating in the air, having no velocity. Now, what this rod? What happens that in our second scenario, the person, the rod moves at the velocity of 0 0.1 times c. zero point one times the c that is ten percent of the speed of light then it's let it be l l equals to twenty meter then the length appears to be something which is less than twenty meters yes and it's traveling to the speed of light and again let's get down to the third scenario where the person is seeing that same rod in something like 0 0.5 times c speed now it's 0 0.5 times c so l will appear something which is more or less than 20 meters and our next scenario if the rod travels with more times the speed of light that is last time it was 0 0.5 c and now let it be 0 0.75 c then that rod would appear simply like this small for this person where L0 is much 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 less than 20 meters and at our worst case let's take the worst case now that is the fifth scenario which tells us like uh, this is the person at rest and the velocity of rod equals to 0 0.999 times c that is very close to speed of light then what rod appears is nothing but simply like this this is the rod where l naught is much 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 less than 20 meters so what did we learn in the actual length contraction is nothing but uh, at the first when rod was actually at rest it the uh, person appeared the person saw the rod at its original length that is the 20 meters and in our second scenario when the rod was very close to speed of light the person appeared the rod as something which is less than the speed of light when the rod became more closer to the speed of light the rod appeared less contracted uh, sorry more contracted and when more approaching to the speed of light it became more small and at last it actually diminished have you ever wondered what is the formula for that let's see the formula I hope you all know about the Lorentz transformation. The value of gamma is 1 upon under root of 1 minus v square upon c square. This is nothing but the Lorentz transformation and in theory of relativity it is highly highly useful. So now let's apply a Lorentz transformation since the length goes to zero we can say delta L that is the length contraction equals to actual length that is the 
rest length that the person saw was 20 meters into 1 upon gamma now gamma is this so 1 upon gamma would be simply like this so, uh, let's see delta L equals to L naught into under root of 1 minus V square upon C square this is nothing but the formula of length contraction now we can say the worst case when the velocity becomes uh, when we can say the velocity becomes equal to the speed of light so when the velocity becomes equal to the speed of light v square becomes c square c square upon c square 1 1 minus 1 0 so change in length equals to absolutely 0 or here we should not say it's change in length we can say it's l final in every case l final equals to L initial into 1 upon gamma that is L final equals to N initial into under root of 1 minus V square upon C square all becomes 0 so L final equals to 0 so literally we can say whenever we just travel at the speed of light the length becomes absolute 0 and we would simply get vanished I think that's the person time travel uh, scientists are not actually discovering the actually time machine which can travel at the speed of light so that's it about the length contraction guys thank you for giving me the chance thank you and of course do like and subscribe if you like if you like this video and if you don't then please do comment how should i change my teaching style to make it more interactive so thank you guys see you soon goodbye